to display USC. The system is monitored by this ammeter, which measures current entering the circuit. On the other side of the board is the circuitry behind the system. Here is a transformer, which takes the 120 volts from the wall socket and steps it down to the 12 volts we need. This circuit board contains the chips which control the on and off time of the muscle wire. This is just one simple application of the next generation material. The shape memory alloys have numerous applications in the medical and aerospace industries that will be developed in the years to come. An encoder is an instrument used in some rotary devices to give feedback to the user. In this demonstration, you will get to see how a simple encoder works. Here, we have a dual power supply that will supply a constant 5 volts to our circuit while also supplying a varying voltage to our motor, allowing us to control the motor speed. Over here, we have an oscilloscope that allows us to view and analyze the encoder's output signal. On our circuit, we have an emitter detector device that acts as an optical interrupter for our encoder. As the motor turns, the interrupter fluctuates between being blocked and unblocked, or in digital logic terms, low and high, giving a square wave output. Here, as the clear side passes through our emitter detector, the signal is high, and as the shaded side passes through, the signal is low. You can view this as a manually turn it. High, low. Now, we will view the same concept with our motor running. Notice the change of speed in our motor as I increase and decrease the voltage. To add a more visual aspect to the demonstration, we can reflect the laser off a mirror connected to the motor. A phenomenon known as persistence of vision, or POV, makes the laser appear to be a solid circle as we approach higher speeds. Interrupter demo. An opto interrupter is simply a device that uses a beam of light and a sensor to detect that beam of light. If the beam of light is blocked, then the sensor is triggered. Opto interrupters are often used as a means of telling the speed and position of a motor, but in this case, they'll be used to trigger the beginning and end of the golf ball journey through the tube. When the ball is released, it passes through the first interrupter. This creates a pulse that can be viewed on the oscilloscope. The same thing then happens on the other end of the tube. This allows us to view the elapsed time for the ball to travel the distance of the tube. From this, we can calculate the golf ball velocity. This is a simple demo that illustrates the principles of an optical interrupter. What is electrical engineering? Electrical engineering, sometimes referred to as electrical and electronic engineering, is a field of engineering that deals with the study and application of electricity, electronics, and electromagnetism. Can you give me an example of when one sees electrical engineering in everyday life? Cell phone. Cell phone? Cell phone. I thought that was computer engineering.
Everything on this board is an example of electrical engineering. This is a demonstration of Coulomb's force law. Coulomb's law is an equation that describes the electric static force between two electrical charges. Imagine if we have two oppositely charged particles. As we bring them closer together, the force attracting them becomes stronger. This follows Coulomb's force law, which states that the force is directly proportional to the product of Q1 and Q2 divided by the distance squared and multiplied by a constant K. For this demonstration, we have a Van de Graaff generator attached to two parallel plates. The Van de Graaff generator creates an electrostatic force that will produce positive charges on the top plate and negative charges on the bottom plate. When I turn the Van de Graaff generator on, there will be an attraction between the positive charges on top and the negative charges on bottom. If you look closely enough, you can actually see the spark jumping from one plate to another as the plates quickly charge and discharge. Here we have the running man. Not that running man. This running man. The purpose of this project was to make an animated pedestrian crosswalk signal using lightweighting diodes, or LEDs, and Arduino programming. The Arduino is an easy to program USB microcontroller. It was used extensively to program the timing scheme of the circuit, along with two 4 to 16 encoder chips. One of the encoders was used to control the 16 LEDs on each square, and the other was used to specify which of the six squares is to be controlled. An inverter chip was also used to control whether to output a high or low signal. In actuality, only one LED will be on at any given time, but it is changing at such a high rate, 1 kilohertz, that all the lights will appear to be on at once. This phenomenon is known as POV, persistence of vision. This is the power bike demo. We're using an exercise bike and a DC motor to convert the rider's power into electrical power. Normally, when a voltage is applied to a motor, the shaft turns. But if the voltage is removed and the shaft is turned, a magnetic field is created. And this, in turn, induces a current in the wires. When the rider pedals the larger sprocket, the smaller sprocket attached to the motor is turned, creating a current. Here we have an ammeter and voltmeter to measure the current and voltage in the circuit. These two switches control the amount of load seen by the circuit, equivalent to 100 watts, 200 watts, and 300 watts. Those demonstrations are just a few examples of what you'll see here at the University of South Carolina as an electrical engineer. Perfect. It says two different, it says two different lines.